It was a challenging year for markets and investors in 2022. The war in Ukraine, followed by an interest rate shock, and then an inflation shock led to some big swings in major markets, with many key indices closing lower on the year. What 2022 also signified was the end of the low inflation and low interest rate environment. And this has existed post the global financial crisis in 2008. Now, it's important to acknowledge the major structural shifts we've witnessed in a short space of time in 2022 and how this wrong footed the world's central banks, stock and bond markets alike. And it was the unexpected speed of this rate tightening that followed, which is part of the reason we saw such volatility over the past 12 months. Focusing firstly on the economic picture, inflation has moderated from its peak in the US and UK at the end of the year, with an expectation it will reduce further into 2023. However, concerns remain that it will be more sticky than anticipated, and this will hinder economic recovery. Now, markets are relatively efficient, and it's difficult to argue that the market doesn't already know some economic fragility is around the corner. And one indicator showing this is the US Treasury yield curve. Now, every time since 1970 that 10-year yields have fallen below two-year yields, a recession has followed, and this is currently the position. And with the expectation that there will be a hit to the housing market due to these rate increases, this heightens the likelihood of a global recession in 2023. So turning to growth assets, over the year, the main UK market outperformed its global peers and it made a positive return. And it was helped by its large exposure to defensive consumer staples and commodity producers and a low exposure to technology companies. And these suffered amid worries of the economic slowdown, concerns over advertising and also consumer spending. Looking at factor performance, over 2022, the factor that gave the best return was value, with growth in quality the laggards over the past 12 months. ESG was impacted by the performance of certain factors this year, with large weightings to technology and software. As we've talked about, these were re-rated over the year. However, the global climate and sustainability challenges are certainly not going away in 2023, so ESG will continue to be an essential part of the investing universe. Turning to defensive assets, there was a recovery in pricing over the last quarter of 2022, ending three straight quarters of declines. Whilst interest rates may well go up further into the first part of 2023, markets have already priced in a peak in the rate cycle this year. So in summary, whatever 2023 has to hold, volatility is likely to remain a constant for investors. However, it's times like these it is worth reminding ourselves of three market maxims. Firstly, markets are forward-looking, whilst economies and economic data points are backward-looking in nature. Secondly, the duration and magnitude of bull markets outweighs those of bear markets. And finally, when investing for the long term, it is the adage of time in the market, not market timing, which delivers robust compound returns.